season two, episode four, universe mode. Subscribe to log into Twitch. Hope you're all having a good Monday, wherever you are in the world, and staying safe. If you could all be starting, give my Twitch and Facebook fan page a follow. My Twitch is twitch.tv blueboy1985. And my Facebook is facebook.com blueboy1985 streams. I've been a wrestling place since I was three years old, so I've been a for the few years. Some things do irritate me. In case anybody's uh, the union against Jesse Evil and Jolly, I'm just I'm going to amend that. <coughs> All streams and chats are interactive, so please participate if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Let them stay. Let them go. That is actually a rankings match. With some quick in that sounds good. All streams are exclusive to Twitch for 24 hours, then they will be on my YouTube channel, youtube.com, Hammers Reviews, if you'd like to support me or the channel, my Patreon is patreon.com, Hammers Reviews, if you don't have a Patreon, I have a donation button on my Twitch page, we have rules for my social media, not prostitutes, cool girls, can girls, scammers, scammers, Because I'm not that life's not for me, and I'm fed up with telling people I don't mind networking, collaborations, general chat, mental health chat. If your mental health's not great, please contact me on my Twitter and Instagram. I don't want people offer me custom emojis, custom overlays. That's fine. My Instagram is Instagram at the new boy one and my Twitter. Sorry, my Twitters are Twitter at blueboy85. And my new Twitter is Twitter at BlueBoy1985.01 Because my other new Twitter got hacked unfortunately so Yeah, this should be a fantastic Card show I think the speak out movement really damaged it If people are guilty that's fine but it's not for people on Twitter and Instagram to say, Ow, oh, you're the bad guy. <coughs> I'll actually be doing two episodes. So it'll be episodes four and five. Let's see where we're headed from HWA Universe. HWA is for Hammers Wrestling Alliance. We're headed from a bright in England. The wrestling industry will take a long time to recover. I'll just run down the card. We turn the entrances off and try to explain why we do that because it crashes it. Game if you do that. So the main, co-main event and main event, I put down to a slow momentum. The first match is Anderson Taker against Shayna Baszler 
Headed from the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, AK-47, Addison K, who you may know as Sienna from Impact Wrestling. She teamed up with another wrestler called Taylor Made. I can't think of what the team's name was, but they were very good. And her opponent, Hailing from... North Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. I'm going for an Alison K win on this, so who's everyone else got? Nice hold on his whip to the buckle. My favourite wrestling film is a wrestler with Mickey Hawk. I know her balls with Hulk Hogan and Tiny Tommy Lister. Batman on the loose. That one was really cool. The ropes are very thin. It's electrical wires wrapped in electrical tape. So there's no give. And Dark Side of the Ring is fantastic. Last week's episode was very fucking deep. It was about Jake, the Snake Roberts family, uh, his father in particular. Nice pocket from Anderson. Okay, I've got this one, two, one, two, one, two. I wasn't a big fan of Shayna Baszler to begin with, but she's one of these wrestlers that has actually grown on me. I think she's very competent. Same thing with Alison K. I think this great wrestler is awesome. Alison K, former Impact Wrestling Women's Champion and former NWA Women's Champion. I'm quite surprised she's not being AEW Women's Champion. There's an okay break. Look out. The idea I got for the ring design was WCW with the blue ropes and the yellow turnbuckle pads and the black and yellow for like CCW. Shayna Baze has been thrown into the ring forest. The referee's up to an eight count. And we're my custom muscle man Randy Savage here. I miss that guy. Nice elbow from Shayna Baze. Throws Addison K. Addison K. Spencer is the AK 47, which is a dominator. And Shayna Baszler is a Cthulhu driver into a rear naked joke. We have other games. I have fought Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It's all three Mass Effects. I haven't played the first Mass Effect in forever. Alison K with the Avalanche Face Buster from the top rope. Nice. Neckbreaker from Addison K. Nice. Future Aurora from Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler with the reversal kick to the legs. Nice. High angle slam from Addison K. Not Shayna Baszler, sorry. Nice hold on his whip to the turnbuckle. 
nice horse and run out for my Addison cat. Go to the pin. One, two, only enough for a two count. If Eva hit their finishing maneuvers or submissions, it's game over. Nice snap my suplex. Followed by a high angle drop kick to the head. Because we are doing that for a long episode. So I will be taking a break in between. This is actually the last season of HWA. We won't be finishing it completely, but every other week it will be breaking for us, so I can bring back Ring of Valor. Nice high angle back body drop from AK-47. Goes for the pin. One, two, Three and your winner, Alison K. She did not need her finishing maneuver to pick up the W. My drink of choice is Pepsi Max. But when I do go for a break, I'm basically going to load up Spotify. So you can listen to some DMCA free music. Yeah, the game crashed right yesterday, and I wasn't too pleased. The next match is a rankings match. Hayley Farmer, Switzerland, by way of Orlando, Florida, the former Claudio Castanoli, Cesaro. I have actually saw him at wrestling show IPW UK where he was Claudio Castanoli and Martin Stone was on the card, which was good and he informed the northern section of Manchester by way of South London Sea, my hometown the 24-hour party annual Funky White Boy Champagne Charlie, which is a creation from my good friend Bull Warrior 1997 if you could always start and give him a follow on his Twitch, which is twitch.tv Bull Warrior 1987 and his, if you miss any streams Whatsoever, they will be on his YouTube channel at youtube.com WrestleBlogger1987 where he does wrestling reviews now and again and he's a mixed content creator like myself but without further ado, let's get started The referee wants a good clean fight Nice, short arm Larry Otago, from Cesaro, nice kick to the lumbar which is a smaller portion of the back of his fight I'm not a wrestler, MMA practitioner, or doctor, because what I am been told. Nice calling up a drive from Jim and Charlie. Cesaro with the cheap shot. Nice hard Irish whip, followed by the street cricket power bomb, the Rakoda bomb. Champagne Charlie is a reverser. Cesaro goes for the second Recorder Bomb. Nice high back body drop from the Swiss Superman who can speak five languages he should be utilised for. Mm. Bollocks to what everyone else says. Nice snap reflex. This week's episode of Dark Side of the Ring is about Dynamite Kid. Great wrestler, but not always a good human being. Nice cross face from the Swiss Superman, the Swiss Cyborg, Cesar. I remember him wrestling in WXW with a General so called Eris as the Swiss money holders. Nice 
gut wrench suplex from the 24 hour party animal who uses power moves to his advantage. Nice headbutt from Champagne Charlie. Goes for the pin. One. He normally does this, but he gets beat down. And then basically, his journey is to either become the champion or near to the contender ranking. Nice. Mount stiff bunches. Nice duke in the joint room from the funky white boy, Champagne Jolly. Gorilla press into a European uppercut. Nice kick to the face from Cesaro. Nice kick to the midsection. Cesaro with the drop range suplex. That move can actually be turned into a blue thunder bomb. Or the doctor bomb. Which is the same thing. Goes for the pin. One, two, oh dear, no, four, two count. Goes for the Rakoda bomb. For the third time in this match. Kevin Charlie goes to the outside. <coughs> nice punch in this. Nice looking up a cup from Cesaro. And this is going to be a very tough competition. Welcome to anyone that has just joined the stream. Hope you're doing well and behaving yourself. Cesaro into the fan barricade. The punches from Champagne Charlie. The referee is up to an eight count. Nice gut wrench suplex. And we go to a draw. We don't have that, so we're going to have a rematch. That match did not happen, people. You did not see that. We want clean cut winners and losers. Nice side headlock from Cesaro. Nice gorilla press. Well, I buy the European uppercut, but it's not a very European uppercut. Go to the pin. One. The switch water slide from Cesaro. Nice kick to the face of Hermann Jolly. From Cesaro. Cesaro's friend boy. Let's venture. <coughs> Might crack a much. Chris Hero and some other wrestlers. Nice cyclone, European Africa. Bomb Cesaro. Nice. Gorilla Press into European Africa. Attack in the midsection of Champagne Charlie. Nice overhead curve up from Cesaro. I remember when he had very long hair. And one of the few was Ring of Honor CZW. He was on Ring of Honor side. Then he turned to CZW side. That, that had it. Come on, Aiden. Right, take your left up. That was fucking awesome. Nice clubbing blows from Cesaro. Beating the piss out of him. Then Ben Jarvi, nice high angle, ready to make sure that's one. Oh, excuse me.
a nice cross face from Cesaro. Made famous by Chris Benoit, but it was actually invented by Dean Malenko. Nice. Snap by Suplex. Nice. Talk on the neck from Cesaro to a Superman. Then Benjali comes back from behind. No slap man followed by the neck wrench. Wrenching at the neck like a torque wrench. Champion Charlie with, with the loaded punches. Champion Charlie is defeated in that multi person match, but is not defeated in singles competition as of yet. Nice punch to the bread basket from Champion Charlie, who uses a lot of power moves. In his weapon for nice sit down Michinoku driver. Nice overhead T bone suplex from the Swiss Superman. Nice move one, two, only enough for two. Says I was going for the sharpshooter. And the undefeated streak from Champagne Charlie is over, unfortunately. And your winner, Cesaro. And we've got Cherry Cove Zero as well, and Free Water to keep me hydrated. It's best if you're doing a long stream to keep hydrated. Matchup. Now we'll do one episode. We'll do one episode now. Now I'll try it. I am doing two episodes today. Fuck it. The co-main event for this episode is Roderick Strong going against the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. That does make me laugh. Hayden from Tampa Bay, Florida. The Messiah of the Backbreakers, Roderick Strong, who, who knows? Variety of backbreakers. And only from Staten Island, New York, the Dirty Daddy, part of Violent Unlimited in Ring of Honor, Chris Dickinson. I really like Chris Dickinson, he's safe as fuck. Because these battles are CPU versus CPU. The referee wants a good clean fight. Nice column level type. Nice base lock. Well, Roderick Strong. Nice side headlock. What they believe in the olden days, if you apply the sleep hold too hard, you cut the cross down to you. If that is correct, that would actually happen. Nice. Column level type. Roderick Strong is being put to the court against the ropes. A nice clean break. A nice snap my suplex from the dirty daddy. Nice kick to the lumbar, which is smaller than off your back and spine. That's where the lumbar check is done. If you've got two like spinal fluid. That's where that is. Nice body. Nice power slam. From Chris Dickinson. Nice hard O's whip to the buckle. Nice 
Rise and Fantasy DDT Dolphin Dust Style made very famous by Masato Tanaka, Ghost Philippine. One visual concept fucked up, they didn't even finish this fucking game, that's how stupid they are. Nice drop kick to the head of Chris Dickinson. Nice running knee from Roderick Strong. <laughs> nice slingshot backbreaker, which is very. I'm a big fan of Roderick Strong. He may not be good on, on the mic, but he, you know, bless his heart, he does try. One of my favourite wrestlers from Ring of Honor. He was in the team with Austin Aries for Generation X, with Jack Evans and Matt Sidell. Nice elbow followed by the running Larry Oto. Goes for the knee button misses. Nice auto rip to the buckle farm. Chris Dickinson, if he hits up a Zuzu bomb, which is the razor's edge style maneuver, the push of its barrel bomb, then it's game over. Oh, excuse me. Nice knee from Chris Dickinson into Roderick Strong's face. Nice short arm Larry Oto. Yeah, it's great to see Homicide back in Ring of Honor. It really fucking is. Nice roll in. Fox doing crap. Chris Dickinson kicking away, Roderick Strong. Nice gorilla press. Power slam from the dirty daddy, Chris Dickinson. Showboat into the crowd a little bit too much. Slingshot roll in DDT <coughs> goes for the pin one only enough for a one count. Unfortunately, Chris Dickinson with the not my power bomb on to run with strong goes for the pin. One, two, only enough for a two count on that. It could have been anyone's match, it really could. Here's Chris Dickinson. Get ready for the Pazuzu bomb. Nice first effect. Power bomb. From the Dirty Daddy. Does he have enough to. Go for the pin, he goes for the pin. One, two, three, and your winner, the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson. We will be starting the Assassin's Creed DLC, The Wrath of the Druids, over the weekend, so I've completed the main portion of the game. All I've got to do is look the treasures, but I don't think I'm going to fucking bother with it, to be quite honest. This is your main event for this episode. It's a full count anyway, match. Heading from Lafayette, Indiana. Ruby Wright, the former Heidi Loveless, the only female Young Lion Cup winner in Chagara. And her opponent, Hayden from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, the daughter of Jim the Anvil Neidhart, 
Natalia, who is actually married to TJ Wilson, but known as Tyson Kid. If the Tali hits the shop shoot the next game over. Nice. Got wrench into a side headlock. Nice pretty another nice loop that's only not by one count. Nice right, snap through back. Followed by a running boot to the fucking face. It's not that if Mark Beckenbrook didn't do any of those things, he's a huge of then. It's not people that are saying, oh, you did this, that, or the other. Oh, they are too scared of the police. But if the police say, okay, you've been on social media blabbing your gums, and you basically, if they are not as delayed. Into out, out in, into the room. Yeah, most of these people they say this, that, or the other happens. But I was like, if it's if that's right in the court of law, that's fine, but not public opinion. Welcome anyone that has just joined us to the oh, nice running power slam from that area. Nice high angle back body drop from the former high leftist. I reckon she'll go to impact. Nice spike. Spike Tarakanara from Ruby Riot. I think for some of these wrestlers they'll be kicking themselves, but others, nah, I don't think so. In the British wrestling scene, they want the cover, it'll take years. Because if you want politicians to get involved in the wrestling, remember if your name does come up for all the people you've slated, shame on them, god damn it. Ruby Wright's been thrown into the ring with sex. What is the hardest part of the ring, people? If you know, please let me know. If you don't, that's fine. I hope it was Marcus Girl. He basically, someone's underage. They tied themselves up and said, oh, we we want to get someone to have a good time, but you know. Nice, by Corrigan Runner. Farm, do be right. Nice drop kick from Ruby Riot. Nice hammerlock from Natalia. Nice punchy to the bread basket from Ruby Riot. Nice stun run from Natalia, goes for the pin. One, only enough for a one. I don't mind people lurking on the stream, I really don't. The more the merrier gets my number up. Ruby Riot with the reversal. Nice super kick. Nice kidney shot. Nice Tony DDD. From Ruby Riot. If he, I personally think she should go to him back. Wow. Only enough for a one count there. <coughs> because the Martin School is the age consent in England is 16, so... If, what was an underage person doing drinking? I know I've done it in the past, but never to get anyone fucking fired. One, two. Only enough one, two count. 
But if this person was intended to get Mighty Squirrel fired, then I don't think that's right. No, it's Tom the Paradise style kit from Ruby Ryan. Go for the pin. One, two, three, and your winner, Ruby Ryan. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Because I'm going to take a quick break before we start. I'm going to play some music, some DMCA music. I am back. Oh, we will be doing the rankings here, stop. Oh, me. I'm going to put that on the longer side of the tag team champions. Let's do the rankings. Tag team rankings. The first seeds are Master Mountain. The second seeds are Bunch of Quillio and Apollo Crews. And we have Spot Dots and Death Order. Top 9 contenders, 9 seed Iron Fly, 8 seed Candy Surrey, 7 seed Tigress, 6 seed Nikki Storm, sorry Nikki Cross, 6 seed Battaglia, 4 seed Ruby Riot. Third seed Rhea Ripley, 2nd seed Shana Brazler, and number 1 contender Liv Morgan. The seventh seed is Cold Queen, ninth seed, Chapter Pelisander, eighth seed, Chris Dickinson, seventh seed, Chad Cable, sixth seed, Lucas Jackson, fifth seed, Champagne Jardy, fourth seed, Roderick Strong, third seed, Cesaro, second seed, Rusev, and number one contender, and first seed, Sammy Zay. We have 
Long week left, and I am going to eat a diet. match cards or something Charlie was it no I want to change that match I appreciate your friend Bobby Fish. So let's see where we are from. We in episode number five. Welcome everyone to HWA Nitro. Let's see where we are, where we are, HWA Universe. Heading from Lafayette, Louisiana. Should be a very interesting match. Hayden from Switzerland, Cesar, and his opponent, Hayden from Bulgaria, Yusef, now known as Miro in AEW. This should be a fun contest. I wish we want a good clean match. Nice Colin Nevertop, nice side headlock from Cesar. Nice hammerlock 
from the tower. Nice reversal. But first, let's lock into the future bar. European upper. Go to pressing two. Hey. Okay. European upper car. The Zoro is starting to provoke your Kunda mask already. If the UK racing team does recover, that's a big if. I know. That should be believed it in the background deck anyway. Oh, only in a 4 1 count. Boom. Middle. I don't care. I really don't believe. Release Lana, who was trying her best. I reckon she'll go into TV. That's hard to whip to the buckles. It's a nice spring day today. Anyone can win this match. Nice snap there. Nice elbows too, the trapezius alternating. If you apply pressure to the trapezius and it's a, it, it ain't her fault. Southern Bowler. Here, here we're getting two more expansions for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm not the best um, streamer in the world, but I do like to give it a go. Nice bunches to that bread basket. Nice snap my suplex into a sea pole. Which was a very well transitioned maneuver. Nice elbows to the midsection of Miro. Nice neck wrench from Cesaro. Nice clubbing blow from Miro. Nice snap man into a net wrench, wrenching away, applying pressure to the former Rusev. How could WWE get that so fucking wrong? He has a Bulgarian tattoo, not a Russian tattoo, fucking idiots. Two seconds, please enjoy the match. I've got to turn my monitor on. Nice, cut the suplex. Keep the grip. Has always worked himself up the ranking system. He has been a champion before. This is a co main event. The following contest is scheduled for one for. <coughs> Bless me. Now, it's allergies. 
that I shall pretty bad hay fever. The Hayden Farm at London by way of Brighton, England. The lifestyle coach, Lucas Jackson. Which was created by my good friend Bob Warren, I think seven. And his opponent at Hayden Farm at Worcester, Massachusetts. Or by, by way of Boston, Massachusetts. One half of Fred Dragon, Bobby Fish in a singles action. Nice monkey flip. Nice. Snap neck breaker from Lucas Jackson. Nice knockout blow. Lucas Jackson is openly gay, lovely guy. I don't think he's dead about someone's sexuality. I don't think it matters all into it, nitpick. I just say fuck off. Lucas is a great guy. One. He actually is the owner of Proctic Wrestling, where Bull Warrior actually trained for wrestling, so I've met him a few times. He's a really good guy. Nice high angle belly to belly suplex from the lifestyle coach. Welcome to anyone that has just joined. Nice. Need to look groin. Look left and witness our marks, taking some names. Bobby Fish and Lorelai had actually gone back because he was in this for a while, like six months. One. Only enough for one count. Ha ha ha. Nice punched in the midsection from Bobby the Fish. Nice snap. Suplex. Made famous by the Dynamite Kid. Great wrestler, great technical wrestler, but not always a good human being. The best matches he ever did was against the original Tiger Mask. Nice knee drop into a belly to belly backdrop. The Slingshot Falcon Arrow from Bobby Fish. I like most of us in promotion. It's probably like New Japan. And in fact, AEW's okay, but they're making the same as WCW they're making. And in fact, one. Hmm. Horror in the form of fucking WWE guys. They've got <coughs> Andrade. He can't even cut a fucking promo. The second he can't speak fucking English. And his Pentagon speaks in Spanish, but he's fucking he's gold on the mic. Even though I don't understand what Pentagon is doing is actually fucking saying. Pentagon Zero Miendo. Because he's changed his name. Nice kick to the lumbar from Bobby Fish. Nice discus area from Bobby Fish. The first time I actually saw Bobby Fish wrestle was in Paris in Noah, all those years ago. I think it was 2007. I've met quite a few wrestlers. I met Rene de Free, Gangrel. Johnny Storm, Rene Dupree, and quite a few others. So let's put up in one, two, only enough for a two count. <coughs> nice jumping kick from Bobby Fish. Go for the pin. One, two. Nice knee from Lucas Jackson and nice reversal. Lucas Jackson was a body splash to the snort of the back. 
I've already done Maverick trading cards from the movie Maverick. I haven't watched it before. Oh, fuck it. I'll shoot myself. Feed him more. One for step at the one. One, two, three. And your winner, Lucas Jackson. And on to the main event of this episode. This is an exhibition match. An informer, Tampa, Florida. Roderick Strong and his opponent. A informer, Hollywood, Florida. By way of Ohio. One half of the Dirty Dogs, Dolph Ziggler. This match is just for bragging rights. <coughs> the first waist lock. Nice side headlock from Roderick Strong, the Messiah of the Backbreaker. Nice hammerlock. Nice side headlock from the double table. Nice quite good double you know. Wish watch and a wish lock. That's what he said about Omar oh, Warrior, but he sold tons of merchandise, so he wasn't may not have been the best wrestler. Because less is more in America, so nice elbow. Nice run in Larry Oto from Roderick Strong. Nice back body drop onto. We haven't really seen Murray Strong since. Folding up um, the Undisputed Era. Nice. Tiger Driver for Murder Strong. Nice high angle drop kick from the Messiah of the Backbreaker. Nice Falcon Arrow from Murder Strong. Murder Strong shove out into the crowd a little bit too much. Nice. Back body drop onto the hardest part of the ring, which is the edge, which is pure still. My stiff punch from Dolph Ziggler. Excuse me. Nice reverse power slam from Dolph Ziggler. Nice elbow shot from Roderick Strong. Followed by a run in Larry Oto. Goes for the pin. One. Only enough for a one count on that exchange. <coughs> nice snap suplex. I'm going to try to go for that. What the fuck was that? And your winner by disqualification, Roderick Strong. Don't think that you had one thing to do, you dumb fuck. And get into it.
Thank you all for watching the winner. Bad test to your audience. I am your host, Blue Boy 1985. I want you to do three things for me. One, look after yourself. Two, look after your relatives, elderly relatives, or any animals you may have. And three, please wear a face wash or face covering and social distance if you can. If you can't do the medical, health, or your exams, that's fine. But if you're doing too much fun out of people, not great. Peace out, God bless, and happy gaming. And I hope to see you everyone later on for more streaming content with it. Thank you, and goodbye for now.